Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment Exposé. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Today I chose a video from Craig Andre. In this video, Craig show us how to waste your life. Alright, let's do this. What were you thinking? What was going on in your mind? Today we will explore the failing kingdom of Craig Andre. I never had the chance to talk about him because he's drowning in legal issues since I began my channel. He's in jail now, doing some hunger strike, some refusals to assist, and is visiting the solitary confinement unit once in a while. All this just because he wanted to do his little show on YouTube. He literally did put himself in jail. That's insane. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. I saw him partner up with uh, Chili to scam money from their moronic followers, and he keeps reposting his old videos. Why a man would prefer to do these little stupid stunts than take care of his family is beyond me. In short, he's a deadbeat chump who dresses like a crooked preacher who tried to sell you a used car. Anyway, let's watch his latest upload together. Come and listen to the idiot! Hey, everybody! The idiot's on! Enjoy. So, guys, CH and Ty audits. We're just here to uh, obviously audit this uh, this sheriff's department here. We've got Vanderburg County Sheriff, Administration, Detention, and Corrections all in the same building here. A few people. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? I'm just filming. Why are you filming? Uh. I don't answer questions, man. You doing all right tonight? Okay, well, then you can leave. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be leaving when I feel like it. You guys all right with that? You're going to call the cops? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so they're going to call the cops. So if anybody, uh, if anybody desires, it's the Vanderburg County Sheriff's Department. We can go ahead and give them a call. Tell them to just respect our constitutional rights around here that's all we're doing taking the constitution out for a walk what i'm sure craig they're very nice with actual members of the public but they can see that you're just there to steer some shit up for youtube content because you fraud it with the subtlety of a coked up rhino in a coffee shop and greg is so stupid he call cops tyrants the dude insults them and calls them every name in the book in their face. That's not how a tyranny work, you moron. We'll just get the tyrants on screen for y'all to see here. <laughs> uh, another man, what are you doing? Nothing, what are you doing? I'm just checking out the building. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what are you guys doing here? You what? What are you guys doing here? What are we doing here? What do you what do? We? What do you do in here? What do I do in here? Oh, yeah. I loaf. You loaf? Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, that, no, I, and the, that's the thing, man. That's what we get out of a lot of government employees, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, tax dollars go hard work. All right, uh, I don't answer questions, brother. Oh, you expect me to answer questions, but you don't answer questions. Is that how this works? I pay for you, man. So. Not because your taxes contributed that you own the person or anything else financed with taxes. That's not how it works. Yeah, do you ask your boss questions? Sure. You do? Absolutely. Does he always give you the answer you want? Not the only answer I want, but it gives me an answer. Okay, that was the answer. Is that the answer? Okay, I understand. Yep. I get you. No problem, man. Make sure you watch plenty of YouTube. Plenty Enjoy of YouTube. Enjoy yourself. Yes. Hey, man. Uh, just so you know, since you're a government worker, we can use a Freedom of Information request or a Freedom of Information Act request to get all of your pictures on your phone now because you've just taken a picture, correct? Oh, okay. That's how that works. Yeah, so we can actually get your whole gallery. So don't delete that picture, you understand me? It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made-up tale. It's a total fabrication. Yeah, I'm not sure that they uh, that the cops came. They said they called the deputies. So um, that's okay, though. So it doesn't really look like there's anything else over that way. So we're just going to go over to another parking lot we're gonna go to the uh as a matter of fact why don't we see if we can't get another shot shot of them here just get a little shot
2,000 years later. A cop finally shows up, and you can tell right away that he doesn't want to play these fools, silly little games for YouTube content. Not much, man. You doing all right? Oh Hell yeah. What's going on here? Uh, nothing, my man. I think they called you. That guy right there. Right. Yeah. You called him, right? You called him? Yeah, you're supposed to you're supposed to deal with the people that called you, right? I'm supposed to deal with people that called about, so what are okay. you doing? Okay, well, uh man, could you do me a favor while I'm talking to you? Could you keep your hand off your weapon for me? Where I stand, man. Just for my safety, would you do that for me? What are you guys doing here? I'm worried about my safety right now. Do you understand what I mean? What are you doing? I'm literally I'm, I'm stay, serious. I'm not moving my hand. My hands stay where they're at. Okay. All right. All right, well, just for my safety, I'm actually going to just walk away from you. Do you understand me today? That's fine. If you're leaving the property, that's fine. I'm not leaving the property. I'm just going to move my person. Because I'm here for business. What's your business? Uh, to document. Document what? Um, I just document government buildings, my man. Okay. Well, this, this area is private property. This is, this is private yeah, property? This is private property. This Evansville here is, is so who pays for this, man? Evansville, the Indiana State Courts do pay for this. The Indiana State Courts. And who do you think pays for them? See, the cop should have used government-owned property instead of private. I will not re-explain the whole thing. Many places are owned by the government and are not publicly accessible. Yes, some are publicly accessible, but you don't own any of them, Craig. Anybody who can't see that mm. is a savage and an idiot! Okay. What, what is your business here? Uh, right now, it's to educate you, so... What's your name? Uh, I don't answer those questions. You answer questions? No, uh-uh. What's nope. your name and badge number, sir? My, my name is Deputy Rodney Miller. Okay, Rodney Miller. And badge number? 3X1042. 3X1042. Okay, so I can educate you today, Rodney. I actually, I help, I, I help pay for these buildings. They're taxpayer-funded. Okay. So they're not private. They're public. Okay. Do you get that distinction? Right. But okay. Don't have any business here. There's no big reason. No, I got I got tons of business, man. Right. Well, then, Do you got business? I got business to deal with you, right? Okay. Now. All right. What, so what is your business? Then? Uh, I don't answer those questions, man. I'll tell you, I got business, so I got a lot of business. You got a lot of business. Oh, I got tons of business, man. What What is your name? Uh, I don't answer. What's my name? I yeah, it's because you are paid by me. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And your name, sir? Martin. Martin. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, so he called you, my man, so why don't you go ahead and deal with him? I don't need your help. You're dismissed, brother. Oh, I'm not dismissed yet. I'll dismiss when I'm, when I'm ready to dismiss. You'll dismiss when you're ready. Okay. So this is my place of employment. Okay. Right? Thought so you were... I leave when I, when I want to leave. Okay. So, oh my gosh, yeah. So. I'm, I'm just here taking the Constitution for a walk. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I, I don't expect to run into tyrants when I do this. You know what I mean? Right. So, if you could... Simply just not make yourself into one of those. Well, we got we got another another car pulling up for for some cameramen here. Are you guys scared of uh, cameras? Oh, absolutely not. You're not scared of cameras. Here, so all, the time. all the time. All the time. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, I'm just here to document, man. So if you're not scared of cameras, are you scared of cameras, sir? I'm a YouTube sensation, so no. Okay. So we're not scared of cameras here, sir. Are you scared of cameras? Okay, so we don't know if he is, but you're not, and you're not, so we shouldn't be worried here, right? Oh, I'm not worried. All right, well, that's I'm great. To figure out what your business is here. I got business, brother. I got a lot well, of business. They got business, and they got to deal with business in here. Right. Well, it looks like he's just standing here, so. I, wait for you to go so I can conduct my business. No, I was walking out. So you can go conduct your business, my brother. Go ahead, man. This is what our taxpayer dollars go towards right here, guys. Just so we know. Why don't we just give these people a call, tell them to get, get back to doing their jobs. This is Vanderburg Sheriff's Department. So let's just go ahead and give them a call, tell them to do their jobs. Are you serious? Ugh. We got 20 people on the live stream right now. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping that some of them can give these people a call, just tell them to screw right off. Yeah, what's up, guys? Yep, we got Ty here. He's with us today, as always. It's in uh, Evansville, Indiana, by the way. Yeah, Evansville, Vanderburg Sheriff's Department. Um, so, this guy's got a book, Conquer Anything. I don't know if he's a bit of an imperialist or if he's just a communist. But uh, either way, that's fine. 
What in God's holy name are you blathering about? I'm actually gonna head back in. We're gonna head back in, see if, uh, see if they got anything else to say. I don't know, I don't know if these guys have learned their lesson yet. Did they, are they in the huddle, the famous huddle? They've retreated. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like they're not trying to give us any more tr problems here today. So uh, thanks if anybody called for us. Because, yeah, this is just ridiculous. One eternity later. <sighs> not much, brother. Yourself? Yeah, good. Uh, good. Good stuff. And see, it's that easy. That is, that is how they should. That's how they should conduct themselves, in my opinion. I mean, I, my opinion doesn't matter, really, you know. But that's uh, that's what they got going on. So it looks like he's getting a call from somebody in there. But that's all right. So I think that they've surrendered. Every they've surrendered here. So now we can go conduct our business in the other lobby tonight. We got some business. That's for sure. That guy was, like, almost amazed at how much business we had, wasn't he? <laughs> he was. Right. She just waved us in. It was already unlocked. How are we doing tonight? Uh, nothing. We're actually just here documenting the building tonight. We Sorry. No, I'm just with him tonight. I'm just with Tyler. Yep. So, uh... That's fine, though. Yeah, this is a public lobby, right? This is the public lobby? No, it's a publicly accessible lobby in a non-public forum. To be filming in here. What is up with this sign right here? This cell phone shall not be used in this facility. What does that mean? It's pretty easy to understand, buddy. I mean... Are you aware that that would be in violation of my First Amendment right to record in this building? It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Man, this guy is dumb. He should be the face of the subreddit Confidently Incorrect. No wonder he's having so many legal issues. All right. Hi. Hey, man, how you doing tonight? Uh, can I help you? Yeah, I had a question about this, um, this signage right here. Cell phones shall not be used in this facility. Right. What is that all about, man? Is, there, is that a law? Uh, I don't think it's a law, but yeah. it's, it's our rule. Okay. So is that like employees follow that rule? They don't get on their cell phones here? So what, what are you here for? I'm just here documenting. I go around documenting government buildings. Uh -huh. um, but I do have a problem with the signage. It almost looks as though, as though you would like um, citizens to not use their phones. Yeah, this is a, a jail facility. It's right. Superior. This is a secure area right here? This whole facility is secure area. Okay. So this is not a public lobby. Like, people don't come in here so when what, they... So what are you needing? That's what I need to know. I'd like to know why that sign I is up. You. You're not allowed to use it. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's fine. So that's all you needed? That was all that I was... I just asked her that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you as well, brother. You about to go out there? Oh, I appreciate the gesture, man, but we like to just, I don't think that we've gotten everything that we needed as far as shots go. We like to get different angles and whatnot, so we'll collect that, and then, um, yeah, after that, we'll be right on our way, all right? All right, sounds good. Uh, no, I'm not actually, I don't know how to do that stuff, and this is actually live right now, we're, we're shooting live. <laughs> Don't worry, you look all right. <laughs> so, to make a point, he will film the phone on the wall and a garbage can. Yeah. All right. Hey, I appreciate you, Sergeant. All right. Thank you. All right. We're just hanging out, man, taking the Constitution for a walk. What are you up to? On a Friday at 8 o'clock. 
o'clock when it's 30 degrees out. I, I know it, man. That Constitution needs walked, though. You know it? Someone's got to do it. How are we doing tonight in the vehicle? Do, hey, doing fine out here, man. Doing fine. Yep. Feeling good. I tell you, this 30 degree weather, you know, after you're out in it for about an hour, you start to get used to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right, so are we doing anything uh, over here, gentlemen? Doing anything at all over here? Just talking? You're working. Working. Okay. Hey, could you sign? I need, where do I sign up for this kind of a job? Online. Online? Okay. All right. Well, that sounds good, man. Uh, the applications aren't hard to fill out, are they? Like, do they have like a lot of words in them? Uh, since you have a hard time understanding a nine word sentence, there are probably too many words for you. I'm doing good, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. What's oh, your. afraid to be on camera. You guys are on camera too. Yeah, that's great. We aren't afraid either. What are you guys doing today? Uh, we're just kind of out here documenting, brother. Okay, you guys realize this is private property, and if you don't have any business here and they've asked you to leave. This is private you. property? Yeah, you see all the police cars? Yeah. You see the jail? Yeah. Do you have the business to conduct? I got business. What is it? Oh, I got tons of business, man, but I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, it's, everything's closed in there, and it's closed up front unless you're depositing money for an inmate. Okay, and it's a secure facility with lots of inmates, like 600. Right. So we have to take uh, notice whenever people come walking around our property. Okay. You understand? And I, I'll just... And I'll be honest with you, man. I I pay for this uh, for this whole building. I pay for the parking lot. I help pay for the uh, police vehicles. I even pay for your guys' salary. So none of this is private. This is all public all right, property. Well, I ask you guys nicely to leave. Okay. I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Well, and I appreciate you asking me nicely, brother. Okay. All right. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. That is noted. So, but I I just want to help you understand. This is. Um, I, I understand your tax dollars. Okay. But this is public. Do you get the distinction well, there? There is a safety issue. A safety issue? Yeah, because this is a secure facility. We have all kinds of stuff around here. Like I said, that's a jail with inmates in it. So there, you guys aren't doing anything that you shouldn't be doing, are you? No. No, we're asking you to leave. Okay. Okay? And I'd appreciate it if you did. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I understand, I understand that, man. You got your point across. Well, no, we didn't. As long as you guys keep thinking that you can just force us off the property, uh, this I'd is this you is on your own. right now. This is public property. I want you to understand okay, that we can agree, agree to disagree. Okay, well that's that's fine. But um, you're a sergeant. You might want to get your supervisor out here tonight. No, she's not coming out here. Well, you might want to get her out here before you do something stupid like try to force me off the private or the public property. Because this is public property. This is not private property. You guys have no right to tell me to leave. What? Okay, fine, fine. I'm cool. I'm fine. You might want to look up the criminal code for trespass yeah, in Indiana. Yes, I help pay the taxes for this building. That would make it a public building. That means that everybody that is a part of the public has a contractual interest in this building. So before you do something stupid, you might want to familiarize yourself with the law. Okay, I, I know the law, and I know where you guys are at. Uh, you can come in during business hours. All right, guys, let's start. Let's start giving. Uh, let's start giving this county sheriff's department a call letting them know what public property is because they seem to be completely ignorant to that and shut the fuck right up in. shut like the fuck up talking nonsense. it was like so pretentious yeah we've, uh, given them plenty of i think we've given you guys plenty of time so if you guys right. want to stay here you can stay here so i know we can like what are you what no, are you no, saying you can stay in the jail for trespassing okay so if we don't leave you're going to arrest us for trespassing. so you're threatening arrest if we don't get no, out of here so okay so okay. i've asked you i'm gonna make times. that clear so under duress, I will leave. But let's let's give them all a call. Let's educate them. All. That, this that, guy's moving in close. That's fine. Hungry. We'll for make sure people tonight. see it, huh? We'll make sure people see it. Stop it, please. No, that means that I can go up to one of your cars and start recording inside of it, looking inside of it, do the plain view no, doctrine in public. That does not happen. Yes, that does happen. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Yeah, okay. don't worry. Okay. Leave because not because you're asking, but because you're threatening. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah. No problem, brother. All right. All right, guys. Let's take care. Get, yeah. Uh, I don't really care. You got us all. Take care. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, actually, let's get your supervisor for real. No, dude. supervisor's not coming out. I'm not coming out. Nope. Okay, so do you not, because it is your policy to get a supervisor. I am a supervisor, and I've already talked to the lieutenant, and they said you leave the property. Yeah, so they can ask. But I want you to understand that you are, you are threatening me right now with no lawful I've orders. given you numerous options if you don't take them. 
All right, the option is to Can leave. I give you an option? The, no, the option no. is to leave. Where, where's your car at? Don't worry about that, brother. All right, guys. Yep. We're about, you're about ready to go into handcuffs. No, we're about to leave, dude. Okay, thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. We got a lot of tyrants out here tonight, guys. All right, and he thinks it's funny. Do you think it's funny that you're a tyrant? Oh, yeah. You're a victim. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Come on. <laughs> Just wish I had as much time on my hands as you got. He did have too much free time, uh, and now he spends all this free time in jail. You muppet. And that's how it ends. On one epic walk of shame, after being trespassed, they whine and cry. No wonder this clown is in jail. Not only did he begin his criminal career long ago, but he clearly does not understand the very simple difference between being in public and being in an unpublic forum. Also, it's a jail. Of course, there's rules. You cannot just walls around without purpose. Craig, you're a clown and deserved everything that happened to you. The whole thing blew up in my face. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Soon we'll be able to look back on this and laugh. <laughs> All right, enough with this clown, my dear Craig. Like they say in the Philippines. We're dying in a more. Shout out to the members, you're the reason why I'm finally out of the psychiatric hospital. Thanks for watching my video, please like, comment and subscribe, and let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye!